Hi everybody, I'm Jason from As One Guidance. Today I'm going to talk about how you know when you're going to be getting into union. And when you feel that inner peace and you're flowing in, you're flowing out, you're giving and receiving, you know, these are strong indicators that you've healed yourself so much and you are getting closer and closer to union. Um, one thing that I see people do is that uh, they'll say, you know, well, you know, somebody will ask them what they're doing. Eh, I'm waiting. I'm impatient. I'm pissed off. I'm sad. I'm lonely. You know, the list goes on and on. You know, the stork is supposed to drop off my twin flame, and I'm I'm waiting. I'm that I don't know when it's going to happen, but you know, I I've, I've been seeing all these videos on YouTube that you know that it's uh, seven seventeen. And there's a magical portal that uh, my twin flame's going to fall out of the sky and land in my lap. I haven't done anything. I haven't done a damn thing to, in terms of spiritual work, I haven't done a damn thing to prepare myself to be in union. I'm still, still uh, being needy, still pining. I'm still really upset. Nothing's nothing's working out for me. You know, my life is shit. However, all these videos say that this this is the year. This is the year that it's going to happen and I just have to sit I don't I don't have to go anywhere. I just have to sit here and wait for it to come to me. Now, this, this is the type of stuff that I'm seeing that um, it it's like if you're if you're not preparing yourself, if you're not healing yourself, you're not clearing out all of the things that are keeping you from being with your twin. If you're not doing any of those things, then how how are you going to be in union with your twin? How is how is God going to give you? this one thing that is causing you such great upset you don't have you're not together in order for you to heal all of your upsets so if you haven't healed all your upsets how are you going to be together you know like i I sometimes see that uh, somebody will say that you know they're they're really really close. You know they're they're almost there. Um, now it's just a matter. You know they they feel like they've done everything that they possibly could, and now it's just uh, divine timing and. Uh, there, there, of course, is a lot of truth to the divine timing portion of it. However, if you are not in union, then there's still work to be done. You know, if you think that you've done all the work you needed to do, and you're not in union... You know, that's a giant indicator that there's more work to be done, that there's there's deeper levels that you have to go to in order to be back with your twin flame. Because they aren't they aren't just going to uh, appear in your life when you're not ready for it. They might appear in your life to teach you stuff. 
uh, a lot of people are ha are having that experience where uh, your twin flame will come into your life and uh, stir shit up and then vanish again. And all of that is a lesson to teach you what you need to heal. However, you aren't going to be in union with in a loving and compassionate relationship where you're both working together and providing unconditional love and a partnership that will last forever if you have not healed all of the blocks inside yourself, all of the upsets inside of yourself. What's going to happen is you're going to keep coming together and it's going to be a giant smash up and then you know that they're, they're going to split again and all of that is just teaching you what you need to heal however that will keep continuing to happen uh, you know as long as as long as you're alive on this planet that will can keep continuing to happen until the day that you heal the things that you're being shown to heal and so what it's about is getting into that mindset, that feeling, that, um, that unconditional love for yourself, for your twin. That's a whole way of life. That's something that, that lessens and and, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different experiences have to happen for you to learn that on a gradual basis. And it's up to you on how fast or slow uh, those that learning takes place and how fast that healing takes place. But there are lessons to be learned. And you will not reap the benefits of all of your inner work until all of the lessons are learned completely and fully. So don't go to a point of, well, this is good enough. You know, now I'm just going to sit here and wait for them. Go all the way. The only way to get there is to go all the way. And don't fool yourself. Don't listen to that part of your, that part of your mind, that ego that's that's in your ear, saying, "Oh, well, we did enough. You know, now it's now it's their turn to, to uh, go the rest of the way or make the rest of the way happen. You know, we did fifty percent. That's that's more than our fair share of of what needs to happen." If you're, if you are aware of something, it is your responsibility to take care of it. That's just a fact of life. This is your portion of the journey. You're aware of what's going on. It is your responsibility to take care of it. They have their responsibilities that you may not know what those are, but that's not for you to know. Your responsibility is for, for you to know what you're being led to, what you're being shown, what, you, what the lessons are that you're being taught. Get into that, get into that place. Feel, when, you, when you heal all these upsets and blocks, you naturally get to that place. You na things naturally occur, you naturally come together, but only when you go the full 100%. So I would love to take you through that full 100% through your journey and into union.
check out the information I, of the services I provide on asoneguidance.com and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment down below on content that you'd like to see uh, me talk about in the future. And I'll see you next time.